Welcome back to In the Sack at Dirty Water with Dr. Sarah. To my right, you might recognize my little superstar here, Alicia Quarles from E! News. I am so lucky to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm lucky to be with you, so thank you for having me. Aww, thanks. Um, we were talking about Dean yeah. Brown. That's a good friend of hers. And we were talking about my app and how I created it and why I created it. And I'm going to uh, have Alicia tell you a little bit more about the run for her and all that stuff that you do for them. And it's a big topic for her. It's a big thing for me that all you ladies need to know about. So Alicia is going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on. So I appreciate you spreading awareness and um, helping women out. So Dan Brown is my best friend. Um, she died of ovarian cancer in November. It was her third time battling the disease. Eventually it spread all over her body and she just couldn't fight it anymore. She first was diagnosed with ovarian cancer when we were in our early 20s and then she went through it again after her five year mark. Your five year mark is supposed to be your celebration point. She got it again and then she got it again. So DM, the beauty of her is that she would talk about all the stuff people don't want to talk about. What are the signs of ovarian cancer? How do you know you have it? Um, are you feeling bloated? Does it hurt to have sex? These are things people don't want to talk about, but we need to be aware of as women. Mm -hmm. So I applaud you for your app. Thank you. Well, we I want to bring people to be aware that girls, you can go around and you can sleep around, and you can use a condom. With or without a condom, you can get HPV. So it's really good to get tested um, because you know you don't want something like that to happen to you, and it's preventable in a way. It's absolutely preventable in a way and also early detection is key right. so yeah women y we have sex sex is natural it's beautiful it's a wonderful thing and you can be as protected as you want to and mm -hmm. still get HPV and you might not know you have it and mm -hmm. you might not get tested for anything because you've been using condoms but you can still get it so it's just important to be aware okay. know your body and love your body absolutely um, you did the run for her yeah. for her <laughs> obviously and um, how was that and are you still doing that again yeah, Run For Her um, is a run for ovarian cancer awareness and to raise money for it. Um, I did the one in L.A. and then I did the one in, in uh, New York. The one in New York is one of my best memories. Uh -huh. DM had been at home really sick, and she was determined to get out and oh, that I day. I saw that. I saw that day. <laughs> so, yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, her family came out. We all came out, and she was just so radiant. The L.A. run for her has mixed memories for me because I went out to do it, and at the time I was living with DM, taking care of her with a bunch of people, and um, so I went to L.A., something in my gut said, don't go, and then I did the run for her Sunday, and that same Sunday, her father texted me saying, DM, it asked to go to the hospital, and which was not like her, she hated hospitals, mm -hmm. so I came back the next day, and um, she never left the hospital, she died later that week, so mm -hmm. it's mixed memories. Yeah, but that's, yeah, it's crazy stuff, yeah. but it's, it's good to know about that, and mm -hmm. ladies, get tested, and use my app. Get tested, use the app, and the app is awesome. It's like it's just an easy way to be educated, to know yourself, mm -hmm. and nobody will take care of you but you. So education right. is key. Even I mean, especially if you're sleeping around. I mean, the guy, the guy might not care about you after, you know. Exactly, <laughs> ladies. Here's the thing: men think with one thing, we think with another thing. <laughs> just being real. So uh, it is real. That's what my show's all about. We're yeah. real here. He uses that brain. You use this brain. Uh -huh. It just it, that's how it works. <laughs> we have a lot of those in Boston that use that brain. <laughs> I won't mention your names, but I bet you know who you are. Anyway. Well, they're New York too, girl. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where any good single ones are. are no, I got, yeah. I got nothing. Unless you, unless like gay men, do they count? Gay men count. They're, the, the, they're the best ones. They're the best. <laughs> Damn. They're always the best looking. My mom's like, you're single because they don't like women. Yeah, like, all my guy friends are gay, so that's why I hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to, you know, whatever. But um, all right. So before you worked for E, did you you worked over at the Associated I Press? I did. I did. Okay. I was at AP for ten years, and I was the global entertainment editor towards the end. So okay. I oversaw a team of about seventy five worldwide, and it was the, the best education ever. I, I I love AP. Oh, it was fun. I love E too. I love you, E. <laughs> <laughs> she still likes you. Yeah. So how did you end up over at E? So I, I ended up over at E. I basically was tr I hit thirty, and I decided I want to be on air full time. And E had been courting me for a number of years, and finally it was just the right time, the right deal, the right place to be. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be in the NBC family, so it, it made sense. Oh, I love it. I watch you guys. E, late night. Yeah. <laughs> right before bed. 11 p.m., you can do 11 p.m. show? Yes, we do. <laughs> so I watch that all the time. Um, who's like, who's your favorite interview? Oh, God. Uh, my favorite interview is George Clooney, always. Is it? Yeah, he's... He's the guy. Guys, look at that guy. That's the guy. He is funny. He's yeah. smart. He's aware. He's a good dresser. Great dresser. Married a phenomenal woman. Not only is she beautiful, but she's smart. 
Like, he gets it. Yeah. yeah. They, they need to come for us. We're yeah. smart. We're smart. We're, we're smart. smart. We're pretty. What's up? What's up? It's not, it might be early in the morning, but I we're mean, doing good. Maybe we should move to London. That's where he found the mall. Oh, well, you know what? The app got very popular over there, so <laughs> I actually <laughs> could go over there. <laughs> we're out of here. We're going to Singles <laughs> Warehouse. <laughs> um, so I saw you recently with Kim Kardashian. How's mm-hmm. that? I actually, I love Kim Kardashian. I know people give her a hard time, but to I me, know. it's indicative. Do you show up on time? She shows up early. Do you speak to the crew? Don't just speak to the reporter. Speak to the camera person, the mm-hmm. sound person, the security guards. She's really, really nice and Great. genuine good person. And also, if she has a problem, she will tell you to her face. She doesn't speak through publicists, and I like that. That's awesome. I do like that yeah. a lot, too. Um, I've been trying to also court uh, Todd Chrisley. Oh, <laughs> Todd, you love Todd? Should we call him? We could call him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call him on here. Oh yeah, I talk to Lindsay all the time. We're trying to get her on the show next month. <laughs> okay, let's call Todd. All right. Be like, I'm with the Sack app girl. Let's see here. Where is it? Oh shoot, you better be in here. I just wanna wait. TK. Is he under Chrisley? He might be. We'll see. Okay. Well, I put people in code in my phone. Oh yeah, that's a good idea actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he sent me the voicemail. Oh, we don't want to give that out. <laughs> You might need a new phone number. <laughs> Todd Crisley. Hi, Todd. It's the Sack app. I'm here with Alicia Quarles. Todd, guess what? I'm with one of your biggest fans. Um, call us a civic. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you. I'll text we you. did not mean to give out your phone number. Uh, no, we're gonna, I'm going to text Todd right now. <laughs> Being interviewed. Oh, this is him. Oh, wrong Todd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, other guy. Wait, okay, let's see. This is the problem right, with Todd. Right, right. No, 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 this is the problem with Todd. TC, <laughs> what's he under? T. Wow, guys, this is an issue. Okay, I'll get to that later. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. Now I'm like determined. So this is the problem. <laughs> now, now, it's a, now it's a puzzle that we have to follow. Okay, it's a puzzle. Just bear with me. <laughs> Your girl's special. Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll find it. Todd's All right. Okay, keep going, keep going. I'm oh, okay. Oh, all right. Where were we talking about? Ooh, oh, we're talking, about, we're talking about the Chrisley. Um, Who else is coming up? Um, what do I have? Today, I'm doing a knife fight with Tamron Hall. That's a like her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm doing Dancing with Nick Cannon tonight for Red Nose Day. Oh. Um, so that should be good. What else do I have coming up? It's you know, summertime. It's a little bit slower. So, oh, really? yeah. So it's our slower season, which is good. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh, I, yeah. We're getting busy over Are it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're re-releasing the app. Yeah. Um, the Sack app too will be out. Mm, I'll show you the, all the new promo okay, photos. Okay, um, um, that's coming out. It should be mid June so if my developer keeps. What's the difference with this one? This one is a little bit more edgier. This okay. one is going to be what we have is free. Right now, you'll be able to download it on iTunes, Google. So you can, you still can, but it's not working. It's not working properly today. Okay. So um, there'll be an in-app purchase, and you can put in specifics of what you've done on a date. And a specific person. So if you hook oh. up with somebody named John and you pick your sex position, <laughs> you can figure it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can figure it out from there. Hey, education is power. It is. It is. But we had to make it a little bit more fun to get everybody involved. So. I'm down with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. You're busy. Yeah. Not as busy as you. Yeah. You know, every day is different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm actually gonna be the new face of um, Cougar Life. This what dating. Is it? The okay. Dating tell me about <laughs> This is like we're in my living room. Okay, tell me about Cougar Life. So I interviewed Ashley Madison, Noel Biederman, Mm -hmm. and we got along really well, and I just really liked him. And then I had shown him my new ads for the app that are coming out. And the next thing, I got a call from their PR, and they want to – their other dating site is called Cougar Life, and they wanted a younger girl to do it. I was going to say, you don't – Fingers crossed we get that contract this week. Okay, I'm sending you the vibes. Yeah. (laughs) You know? For the young cougar. Yeah. Like a baby – we're baby tigers. Baby, she's a baby tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of positive things coming. Congratulations. So. Yeah, I will. Not yet, well, hopefully soon. We put it in the air. We already it's say there. It's already written, it's done. So yeah. We right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's there. So, well, um, do you have any information or things you want to tell people out there that want to get a career? Maybe on e news? Later in life? Yeah, I think the thing is, it's never too late in life. So if you look at somebody like, for example, look at Morgan Freeman. He didn't make it until he was, what, 50 or so? Yeah. So it's never too late to pursue what you want to do. Mm-hmm. I think nothing beats working really hard. You work really hard. Eventually, it might take a year. It could take 10 years. Right. But it, when you get the opportunity, which you will get if you keep working hard and you're focused, mm-hmm. 
you blow it out of the water. And I think that's the biggest thing. Like, I might not be the prettiest person. I might not be the smartest Excuse person. me? You should Girl, see you her. She's beautiful. No, she <laughs> <laughs> she's very humble. She saw I came in with a hat. My weave was a little toe up. No, but she looked really <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might not be the person with the most connections. You might be, might be the smartest, the prettiest, whatever. But nobody w can outwork me. And right. so that's what you think. Right. That's, that's, what your attributes. that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I didn't really like where I was. And what I were you doing before this? Uh, pharmacy. Okay. I'm a pharmacist. I Doctor. still am. Okay. I Dr. Like, Sarah. So you didn't love being a pharmacist. And I still am. But oh. um pays the bills. <laughs> but then this came up. I made the app and then You're here we are at Dirty Water. Yeah. So tiger's good. I know. Grr. Hey. I'm to Boston. I need to go to Boston. Oh, anytime. Come on up. Okay, we'll show you around. It's a great time. I'm down. I love Bost Bostonians. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot in New York. Yeah. It is a lot of fun out there, actually. Okay. Okay. Especially we're coming into the summer season. Okay, I'm going to Boston. Yep. Boston boys. Patios Boston boys. Patios. She's coming. <laughs> She's coming up there. Well, thanks so much for doing this My interview. Pleasure. This has been a lot of fun. And uh, uh, we'll have to give Todd a call after. We'll call Todd when I find his number. Yeah. After we prank the wrong Todd. Wrong Todd. Sorry, wrong Todd. Wrong Todd is in, um, I think, Japan or somewhere saving the kids. Sorry. <laughs> right, Todd. Wrong Todd. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Those Todds, they get confusing. I wonder why I um, can't meet anybody. It's so <laughs> shocking. I think we'd be the same. Shocking. I think somebody would have to be out escorting us around. That's what he has to do to me. <laughs> Anyone? Let's just have lip gloss. That's OK. <laughs> <laughs> Except when I want to go back for my lipstick halfway yeah, through the trip. All right. Anyways, get the app, you guys. Get tested. Knowledge is power. And I mean, you got a hot doctor in the house. Like, What else do you need? Get that sack app on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Dr. Sarah for Dirty Water. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> you made it so good. <laughs>